But tonight, only on 10, a follow up on a local clinic that closed suddenly, affecting thousands. Good evening, I'm Tom Shad. And I'm Anita Blanton. Christian Psychotherapy Services closed in January, leaving thousands of patients across the area scrambling for care. But that's not all. The patients are also desperately trying to get a hold of their sensitive medical records. Today, New Science Regina Mobley has been looking into the matter for months and joins us now with the disturbing information. Well, Anita and Tom, overnight with little to no notice for employees and no notice to patients, Christian Psychotherapy Services closed its doors. This practice had four locations and a patient database of 60,000. Well, many of them have contacted 10 on your site in efforts to find their medical records. After investigating for months, I have found evidence that countless medical records may have been left unsecured. Chopper 10 takes you high above the former Newport News location of Christian Psychotherapy Services. And in January, the practice closed four locations, including this Chesapeake location. And Anderson was a long-term patient. They shut down literally overnight. Anderson was able to connect with her doctor, but four months later, she still hasn't been able to connect with her patient records. Along with them vanishing, went all of the patient's records. Ten on your side may have found her records and what appears to be the records belonging to hundreds, maybe thousands of other patients crammed into shelves and stacked on the floor. A confidential source toured the building at 609 Independence Parkway in January, shortly after the practice closed and the space was reportedly put on the market. The source says unsecured patient records were in every room of the building. The employees left the building, but the records remain behind. Anyone who is looking at that property to potentially buy or rent the space could have seen patient records. Oh my God. That's just wrong. That's just wrong. I spoke to a veteran former CPS provider who has told his patients they will probably never get their records. In a recent Richmond Circuit Court hearing, CPS was found in default with a lender. Another civil case filed by employees is pending in Virginia Beach Circuit Court. I have more on wavy.com, including whom to call if you are a former CPS patient in need of help. Regina Mobley, 10 on your side.